Today I'm going to be reacting to more German food. This time it's called German food from Schnitzel to Black Forest Gatto. Now Black Forest Gatto has been one of my favourite cakes for years. Tell me if you enjoy Black Forest Gatto or what's your favourite German dessert. Let's check this video out. But Bratwurst, Spätzle, mm, Sauerbraten, yep. Falsche Hase, Maultaschen, Himmel und Ed. Schweinshaxe. Mm, Let me be so very German about this and give my honest opinion of traditional German dishes. They're often very filling, pretty meaty, and usually sit somewhere on the spectrum of beige to brown. <laughs> That's actually a criticism that gets leveled against British food because we fry everything and everything's just cheap and processed. But Germany is the opposite of that. Germany is beige and brown, but it's actually very fulfilling, very hearty. I mean, there's a lot of meat, veg, potatoes, but for me, it creates like quite a unique, unique cuisine in its heartiness. German food often tastes good, but looks not so great. Let's see what this German foodie makes of. It's all side. going in the same also, way, ja, anyway. Ich meine, ich arbeite ja auch als Foodfotograf und wenn man mal so ein Gulasch fotografieren muss, dann ist es schon <lacht> immer eine kleine Herausforderung. Aber witzigerweise fast alle verstehen unter diesen Gerichten Soul Food. Also mm. wenn du so ne, so essen was ein gutes Gefühl vermittelt, was mit Erinnerungen verbunden ist, was irgendwie so wohlfühlen, dann ist es total oft der Braten, das Schnitzel. Dann ist es egal, wenn es nicht so schön ist, das gibt halt ein gutes Gefühl. That is the perfect point. That's what I was actually thinking about. A lot of cuisines all over the world, they start to focus on things like health, the health benefits and this and that. German food seems to me like he just said, it just wants to make you feel good and feel like homely and things like that. I can imagine like German, German mums make some amazing home cooked dishes. Uh, tell me if you agree with that. Und wie würdest du traditionelles deutsches Essen beschreiben? Ein deutsches Essen hat eine Sättigungsbeilage zu haben. Es gibt quasi nichts ohne eine Kartoffel, eine Nudel, ganz klassisches Gericht von meinen Grand aus meiner Kindheit von meinen Großeltern yeah. waren Nudeln und Bratkartoffeln. Carbs mit Carbs mit Carbs. Yes, man. Yeah, this okay, this is a, this is what I'm talking about. Carbs on carbs is the one of the most underrated things you can do with food, man. For me, being from the UK, what we have is like a sandwich with fries. So it's like, get some nice thick bread, a lot of butter, fill it with fries, carbs on carbs. I mean, this is carbs on carbs on carbs. That's taking it to the next level, but pasta and potato. I've never heard of that being mixed together. Tell me if that's a good combination. Was kochst du für uns gleich? <coughs> ich koche heute für uns Schnitzel, weil das ist halt wirklich, also gerade auch so, wenn ich an meine Kindheit und uns aufwachsen denke, so dieses, ja, typischste deutsche Gericht, was es bei uns total oft gab. Oh. Of course, the Schnitzel yes. came to Germany via Austria. Germany is bordered by nine different countries, and you can see the influence of those neighbors on regional cuisine near the borders. And that's what I just wanted to say. That's what I find so interesting about Germany, because it's bordered by so many countries, and you really see those influences in all those kind of surrounding cities and towns and villages. It makes Germany so unique. As well as regional differences, there's a seasonal aspect too. Mm. Many Germans get very excited about particular seasonal foods, such as asparagus, yeah, I was going to say asparagus, yeah. or kale. Grünkohl essen is a special occasion when people get together to eat the leafy green usually served with cured sausage. Hmm, does barbecuing count as a seasonal speciality? In any case, as soon as the first rays of sun appear in late spring, the Germans are ready to grill. The first barbecue of the year is known as Angrill. And in one study, a decisive 97% of Germans said they liked to grill. Some key components at a German barbecue, lots of meat, potato salad, mustard, and little bread rolls that are completely impractical for putting sausages in. <laughs> that, <laughs> that is true. Like, tell me what, what is the reasoning behind having, I mean, either such a big sausage or such a small bun, is there any reason for that? I mean, you, I guess you get to, 50% of the time you get to enjoy just the sausage itself, but 50% the rest of it, you get to have it with the bunny as well, but something so simple, bread, sausage and mustard, but that is a great combination. I never knew Germans were barbecuers, man. Tell me if you if you enjoy barbecuing. Talking of bread, it's obviously a huge part of the food culture here. So important, in fact, I already made a whole episode about it. Do check that out. But what else do we know about German tastes? The nation's favorite meat is pork. Around 5% of the population is vegetarian and 1% vegan. The top rated vegetables are tomatoes, carrots, onions, and cucumber. Favorite fruits are bananas, apples, oranges, and melons. The country also has a that. deep relationship with potatoes in every form. 
Kartoffel is even a somewhat derogatory term for someone who is very German. Really? Finally, some herbs and spices you might spot regularly in German recipes, parsley, dill, or in some regions, caraway seeds. Okay. Yeah, tell me what your favorite potato dish okay, is. Now we've really worked up an appetite. Take it away, Zasha. Wir unsere klassische Panierstraße. Erst ins Mehl. Dann nächste Runde ist einmal in das geschlagene Ei. Und dann kommt es in die Panade. Und wir haben jetzt hier eine Mischung aus so Flakes und Panko, was wiederum witzig ist, weil Panko ist eigentlich ein japanisches. Ja, das ist schön, Panko, -Mehl. Panko Break haben Sie schon. Möglichkeit, ja. so diese urdeutschen oder urklassischen Gerichte ein bisschen zu modernisieren. Das kommt jetzt so für zwei Minuten von jeder Seite bei einer mittleren Hitze. Auf gar keinen Fall zu heiß, so dass es schön sprudelt beim Anbraten. Es ist wirklich sehr simpel, zu machen. Die Kartoffel geht halt Hand in Hand. Ob das jetzt Bratkartoffeln, Bratkartoffeln, Pommes, Salzkartoffeln sind, da hat man die freie Wahl. Und fertig ist unser Schnitzel. To express that you mm. hope someone enjoys their meal, you can say guten Appetit or more guten casually Appetit. guten Hunger. But if you're feeling particularly German, why not throw Mahlzeit into the mix? Mahlzeit. It literally means meal time, but particularly around lunchtime, it's a perfectly acceptable greeting. The appropriate response is Mahlzeit. Mm, that's interesting that they've got greetings in Germany as well. I don't really know of any greetings in the UK that we use when we eat, but here in Malaysia, my in-laws are like Malaysian Chinese, so they say like chia. Which means like eat everybody eat before they eat every meal, which is yeah something different for me being from the Mart UK. Side. Mart side. Mm, okay. Talking of meal times, at breakfast the Germans are generally split into two camps: bread with cold cuts, egg, cheese, or sweet spreads, or some kind of muesli cereal or porridge. The main warm meal of the day is traditionally taken at lunchtime. Having grown up eating cold lunches, usually sandwiches, I still can't adjust to this. Especially because it can take quite a while to recover from an enormous portion of hot German grub in the work canteen. Yeah, that's what I can imagine. If you eat so heavy for lunch, I would just feel so, uh, so exhausted or lazy in the afternoon. But I guess if you're used to it, I guess it's similar to here again in Asia. They have such big meals at lunchtime, but it, you can actually see the effect on the productivity here. People definitely get lazy. Uh, but again, for the breakfast in the UK, we have like those more warm, full English breakfast, that type of thing, full British breakfast. Uh, but yeah, in Germany, obviously, it's completely different. Oh, and lots of Germans have lunch really early. I have colleagues who go to lunch before midday. The evening meal could fine. be as simple as Abendbrot or evening bread, which, to be honest, is kind of like having breakfast all over again. But habits are changing, and around a third of Germans now eat their main warm meal in the evening. According to a recent report, three quarters of Germans enjoy cooking. When they're not in lockdown, around a half eat out at least once a month, and a quarter eat fast food once a week. The international cuisine on offer in Germany is telling of the country's immigration history. A small shop or stand offering speedy takeout food is called an imbiss, which comes from the old German for meal. Hmm, I've never seen that before actually. Between meals, the most popular snacks in Germany are chocolate and crisps. I can't for the life of me understand the nation's obsession with paprika flavour. But hey, each to their own. Mm -hmm. okay, I think paprika would be good. I've never I tried it. I was a little disappointed to find that this course doesn't seem to get that much attention here. But cake lovers, fear not. There's always Kaffee and Kuchen, coffee and cake to look forward to. Mm. This traditional German pastime, which dates back to the 17th century, is something you typically do with your parents or your grandparents in the afternoon. For the full experience, crack out the fancy coffee cups and cake forks. Some classic German cakes include Schwarzwälder Kirschtorte, or Black mm, Forest Gatto, yes. Bienenstich, which means bee sting, Ooh, and Marmorkuchen. Oh, marble cakes from Germany? Tell okay. me your German food likes and dislikes below, and look out for more German food delights over on Instagram, dw underscore meet the Germans. That is fantastic, man. Every video I watch about German food, it just gets me more like, more of a fan of German food. It's like so good, man. There's some things that I never even knew from the previous videos. So yeah, tell me what you think about that video. What's your favorite traditional uh, German dish? What's the f your favorite German dish that was like your gran or your mom or your family member cooked for you as well when you were younger? Thanks.